Hey guys, how you doing? Good? Alright, and today I'm continuing my Rage uh, playthrough. So in the last part I had just uh, communicated with Captain Marshall and now we're heading over to the front lines allegedly. So this is on the second disc of the game and this is in a completely different area altogether. So yeah, new places! <laughs> that blink. Probably just days away from the authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan? Well, welcome to the fire. Look at that felt right, Jesus Christ. <laughs> There's Crescent City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right below it. Crescent City, aka Subway Town. Now, I don't like Subway Town primarily because it's run by someone who's real honest to God, I hate his guts. Like the guy before. Like, the mayor, he was so much nicer. This guy's just an asshole. Ugh. But you'll find that out eventually. How <coughs> come this way? Our base is just through that door. Alright, let me through then. Move, you ass. Boom. Oh, I can't get in, can I? Hmm. Alright then. Marshal, you. Uh, Lassard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. All right, people. A little introduction of our new guest. You know he's an ARC survivor. He's also pretty tough. Gets the job done. I know he'll fit in well. In short, trust him. You see that arc, all in pieces over there? It was the one I was buried in. But now Lassard uses it as the brains of our operation. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Captain Marshall was buried in that thing. But I've re-rigged the systems, and now I can track most authority movements and communicate with our people around the wasteland. Precisely. Sound. Elizabeth, you know. Good to see you again, and still in one piece. Actually, it's Dr. Cadence, and she's been getting closer to solving the riddle of the authorities work with the mutants. Oh, okay. Every little step brings me closer to the truth. And Jack Borkman, over there, he handles ordnance. If it shoots or explodes, he can help you with it. That's right, friend. It's like my birthday every day around here. Especially when my work helps take out some of the authority bastards. Lastly, above us, keeping the lid tightly closed on our base of operations, is Saul. He runs the garage in town. He's already got your stuff in a bay. You'll meet him when you go up. Okay, a couple things you need to know. The subway town above us? No, oh, it isn't Wellspring. They walk a fine line, keeping the authority at bay and also dealing with us. You'll have to be careful there. And the town's boss, Redstone. Redstone, that's the one. Be extra careful around him. He'd sell you out to the authority in a heartbeat unless you're abused to him. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get on Redstone's good side. See if he needs anything. Be of use to him. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. And then, you're useless to us. Think you'll be able to play his game? Good. Fine. Remember, get a feel for how things work around here. Be useful to them. 
Then we can start moving on to the serious stuff. Okay, it's clear for you to go up. Environmental credit, Massad will give me. I've been working with some something. authority technology. There we go. We found. Please. Let me tell you, I think I've come up with something truly impressive. I found a way to engineer separate authority components together to create an object that, when you activate it, inflicts extra damage, though only for as long as the power supply lasts. The parts are hard to find, but it sure is effective. Here are the plans. I know you'll have fun with it. Yes, man. That's perfect. Boom, you give me anything. Blowing stuff up and hitting the authority where it hurts. That's my game. Now, if you're as good as Elizabeth says you are, then I do believe you and I will get along nicely. No. Alright then. Shit. Oh. Sound. It's a slime mutant. Hang on a sec, where's Elizabeth? Oh, she's not here. Alright then, let's go. Let's go and meet this asshole. Not Saul. Saul's, Saul's nice. Bloody redstone, I hate. Here he is. So, you're the new team member. Well, welcome to Subway Town. I'm Saul. I run the garage. He's nice. But, uh, more importantly, I drop that car lift if the authorities start stooping around. But first, um, a couple of things you need to know. Your garage bay is through that door. I'll do all your repairs here and tow you back if you ever get yourself in trouble. You can find the race manager downstairs and the bars on this level. And more importantly for you, Redstone's office is upstairs. Remember, nothing and no one moves around here without his okay. So, don't waste any time. Go and see him. In actual fact, I'm not going to go see him straight away. I'm going to check out the bar. Hey, stranger. You looking to earn a little on the side? Brick Johnson, the guy that runs the bar, he's been having trouble with bandits stealing his liquor. He needs someone to take care of this problem. You should go see him. The bar. No drinking for anyone unless Redstone says you're okay. Now move along. Dickhead. Look around. All of this is Redstone's town. It's the meanest damn mayor in the wasteland. Watch yourself, or you won't last long here. Sure, so I guess I have to go see him, otherwise I can't get in the bar. Hey pal, don't waste the boss's time. Go see him. Dickhead. Hold it right there. You Marshall's new guy. Okay. You're new. That means that you don't exactly know how things work around here. So let me make it clear to you. This is my place, my town, and every bastard here answers to me. What I want, they do. So if you can help me do things, then we'll be fine. If not, then I have no use for you. Got that? So Marshall says you're the type that can get things done. Let's give you a little test, huh? My foreman is having mutant problems at the end of the blue line tunnel. The things keep crawling back in. So go help him out. Think you can handle this? Good. Fine. Just prove yourself useful to me. And then I'll let you stay. Now, show me what you can do. Oh. And get the hell out of here. Fine. Redstone gave you a job. Stop wasting time. It's hilarious because... Oh, what's up? My muscle and joints getting old, making it harder and harder for me to walk around these days. But I heard about a plant called Comet Bloom. Heard if I chew it, it'll make the pain go away. Problem is, I ain't got no way of getting it. You think you'll be able to help an old man? Fine. Oh, good, good. This will surely make the pain go away. And here, good fella. Something that I think you'll be able to use. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. All right, this is the bar. I think this is the guy. Yeah, this so is. So you're right. Redstone's new tough guy. Care to make a little extra on the side? Of course. Damn bandits. Oh, Khan. Okay. Um, the Nike hat game guy. Here. I would pay handsomely if you took to the roads and kill a few of those bandits. 
You take out an authority predator, and that'll count as two. Can you handle that? Done. Oh, alrighty then. Go kick some. Hello there, stranger. I've got the best deck of cards in the wasteland. Care to challenge me? Maybe later. I'm going to have a look around the town, see if I can find anything else. I think it's upstairs where... Yes, it is. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, hello there, cutie. Please tell me what I can do for you. Name's Janny. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little money. Helps me keep my head above water. I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so, what you looking for? At the moment, I'm probably just going to sell everything. Sentry bot. Yeah, go on, just in case. Pleasure doing business with you. Likewise. And I think there's a guy back here. Here he is. I've got an incredible deal for you. Cheers. What is the deal? Hello. Name's Stu. I often have a surplus of one thing or another, and I'm willing to sell for a fair price. For 10 quid each, that's not bad, so you'll have that. Fair enough. Oh yeah, the guy, oh yeah, Redstone wants me to go down to the Blue Line Station. It's on the Which is down here. All the way down there. Hey, Hudson. Alright, chill out, bloody hell. The boss called down. Said to expect someone. You must be him. I got a big problem. Damn muties ripping through my work down here. They got this expansion operation just about shut down. My guess is they clawed their way into the blue line station. And now, they're busting out all over down here. Someone's got to stop them. So, me. So, it looks like you're the guy for the job. I'm glad you understand. You can get into their cave up on the surface by the canyon wall. Head as deep as you can go and look for the blue line station. All right. Listen, work can't go on with these mutants busting through all the time. Get to their cave and see if you can stop this problem. I don't know. I suppose. The authority has some vehicles. Predators, they call them. Armored to the hilt and loaded with firepower. You see one of them, you're run. Okay. That probably won't work for me, but I'll... Oh well, I don't know. Let's get into the wasteland then. A lot like the other waste one, I think there's vehicle jumps that you can do, but I don't know, I might not try doing them, I might try, it depends. Why have I got my sniper equipped? That's the same, my sniper's not part of the inventory, thank you.
Here we go with the Blue Line Station. Oh, Jesus. It's like everyone got slaughtered down there. I'll try it. Come at me. So Redstone's boys didn't do any good either. Well, take the long way around as opposed to just hopping through this window to get to that. TNT. Alright. No! Hang on, that's a waste of good ammo. There we go. But nevertheless, come on, come on. Go. 
I can only assume that's a dynamo. That was interesting. <laughs> oh, crap. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here, so if you did enjoy this video, leave a like down below, and subscribe if you're feeling generous. So, yeah, thanks guys, take care of yourselves.